Hey, this is Charlie. Um, today, my project is going to be I'm going to try to make an overhead um, kind of tripod for, for making my videos. I need something that I can have on the table and um, basically hang over because most of my videos is really narrated hangover videos. So, we're going to be using an architectural lamp, like I said. Um, we got some Walmart for like $14, so I'm hoping that that will work. And the base in there, I, I really wanted one of those that could screw on the side of the desk, but that the one they didn't have. And so hopefully that'll be heavy enough. If not, we can always put um, the camera is not that not too heavy, so we can always put some other weight on there. So that's not a problem. We don't need that. And So one of the things we're going to do first is we need to get rid of that part right here. So hopefully I can use that. That's kind of plasticky, so we might have to change all that. All that wiring here, we're going to get rid of. So we can even start cutting that off right now. Hopefully you can just pull it out. Uh, nice piece of wire, so I'll save that over there. And we can hopefully pull that up there also. I could, have, I could have saved that piece and put a plug on it and put, make a lamp later on and figure out a way to get this out so let's unscrew that on there and try to figure out how we're gonna take this out and we can get rid of that and this is really what we need and we know it's gonna go in the base and hopefully this will work great for us and we can bring this and move this and we it also has a, an adjustment area here where you can close this in and hold it so so what we're gonna try to figure out now is how to put the the camera security camera in that area right here um i have some bars here so hopefully i can work up something and okay so here we are out in the out in the in a in the workshop i'm gonna try to finish up the project so i'm gonna try to cut um the the l brackets to fit on that part of the of the lamp and yeah i'm sorry I, I didn't show the cutting but it, here I am cut it, it's cut, and I'm gonna try to drill two quarter inch holes in there so we can secure the bolts, those bolts right here, we can secure those bolts and have them go through uh, the existing holes. So I'm gonna open the existing holes first, so I'm gonna drill the holes on there. And first you wanna make sure you secure it. Normally I use a clamp, but this time I'm just using a, a pliers on there. And it's gonna drill and make sure it's open nicely. And then we're gonna take our screw and just try it free to make sure that it's working properly. And let's drill the other hole. Make sure it's open up properly. And here we go. It's fitting pretty nice. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to put some holes right here on the side also so there's an existing hole here so i'm going to just try to open it out to make sure that the screw can go through and you're going to do that to both sides so again you want to make sure that you have a plier handy so that you can um, secure and hold it so that you hurt yourself and here i am verifying that the the screws can go through now i'm going to take this take it apart those little plates on the side, the side plates, because I'm gonna put the screws. Two of the screws are gonna go inside, and then one of the screws is gonna go all the way through. I think that's that, but that's my plan for now. I'm just making this up as I, as I go along. So we're gonna pass our screw in there. And we're gonna drill the second hole in there so there we have it so we only have to put one more hole there to make sure that we hold that L bracket in place
get some nuts and bolts and put it in there and secure it. And now we're going to start um, putting everything back in place. And we're going to use the, the two existing bolt and screw that it came with to hold to hold at the back. So we're going to put that back in place right there. This is a nice little project. Um, you're going to need a drill for sure. You're going to need a screwdriver and, and pliers and, um, you know, the, the, obviously your nuts and bolts. Uh, we're basically going to be using, what, three nuts and bolts on there or two nuts and bolts or three nuts and bolts sorry in, in total so we're gonna run that one the top one we're gonna run it all the way through and we're gonna put two nuts in the center to keep you want to keep that space in the center keep it apart and then you're gonna, we're gonna screw it on Make sure we tighten the small existing nuts and bolts on there. Then we're gonna tighten the center, the the two that we use as the separate the separators in the center. We tighten them in pretty nice, and then we're gonna tighten out. This we're just gonna tighten on everything right now. We basically <clears throat> we're gonna tighten on everything and then mount. I'm going to put that mount on there. First thing we have to do is open up that hole because the hole that came on the on the L brackets is a bit too too short. And then we're going to pass our bolt in there and we're going to make sure that yeah, it works properly and because that's what's going to hold your camera. And that mount that, that mount that I am using there, I, I got it on an old on an old camera mount that I had lying around so and I wanted to make sure I got one that could move up and down and here we are everything is mounted up everything is screwed perfect and we're gonna put our bolt and screw that that holds that hold our mount that hold our camera there we it fit right in there everything is going perfect so so far everything is looking pretty good and as you can see everything is working here we're testing it we're gonna take this out here we're gonna find a camera and put it on to make sure it works and screw on the camera and pop that BB in and you can see it there we go Swivels. Works down, and this is what I really wanted for is to take is to film from on top, from above, and have control over it like this. I thought I'll be moving it around like that, but so okay. So finally, I'm done with the what will be my overhead tripod. So I will record. The project is done. It came out pretty pretty good um, I, I found a handle from an old drill that I have so I put it on the side here so I'll be able to control this more easily I'm, I'm surprised at how how perfect that work um, it can swivel almost you can see it can swivel all the way across here if I remove the screw down here at the bottom it can swivel all the way around all the way around so that works pretty good um, Right now my my power shot, my Canon power shot SX510 HS is is on there and it's holding up pretty good. Um, so I can adjust my head right like this, adjust my camera. So I'll be looking down on whatever that I'm if I'm reviewing something. So for example, I can put that right here, and I can be right over here like this, and I can move. And it, it, it's so surprising that even though I'm moving it right now, it still stays focused on the object. So I'm going to record it. I'll put that recording in that video so you'll see. I'm not recording the mouse, which is a test. And you can see that it's, it's working really good, the overhead shot. So that, you know, that's my little mouse here. 
So if I was reviewing right now, that's the the angle that you'll be seeing, and I'm moving up right here, and you can see I'm moving away. See, I'm not recording the mouse, which is a test, and you can see that it's it's working really good. The overhead shot, so that you know that's my little mouse here. So if I was reviewing right now, that's the the angle that you'll be seeing, and I'm moving up right here. And you can see I'm moving away. Sit down and do my review. I have this right here. I have my o my overhead shot. And in, like in the old days, I'll be behind the camera, and you you could actually hear my my breathing <laughs> in the camera. So now I guess we'll have none of that. I'll, I'll be sitting right here doing my review right like this. So it's working pretty good. Adjustment from all the way down here, all the way up there, like this. We have total movement all the way around. For that, um, for that lamp, I paid like $14, $15 for the lamp at, at Walmart. Um, for the clamp, the clamp, the popular clamp of those, those L brackets right here was basically $1.50. And um, basically, what else? Um, three screws, a um, couple cents per screw. So it cost me over 20 bucks to put all that, all that, all that together. And I still ended up saving... I remember at the beginning when I when I cut this out, so I ended up saving this and hook it up, hook it back up together, and I still have a a lamp here. I'll be reviewing while, while I was at Walmart. I also pick up. So that's my next review, which I'll be doing with this. So that's a a 42 inch universal travel tripod that I pick up. It have a, a kind of like a telescopic um, um legs on there. So I was gonna use it, I was gonna cut it and use it to, 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 to make something, but now I think that I'll keep it as for when I travel in. If I go in somewhere, I'll be using that. So again, this is Charlie. I'll leave all information below. I'm out. Enjoy this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. See, I'm not recording the mouse, which is a test, and you can see that it's it's working really good, the overhead shot. So that you know that's my little mouse here. So if I was reviewing right now, that's the the angle that you'll be seeing. And the handle I show you, I can hold the handle and I can bring it up and move away. And you can see it still stay focused because of the way the lamp is built. It still stay focused on on whatever object that you that you are focusing on. And you can just move nice and slow because of that of the spring in there. And you can see that the focus still stay on the object.